Hello everyone, welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about slip ring induction motor lab and its order code is 46601. So in this video we are going to discuss the construction and working of this trainer. So this is a slip ring induction motor lab. So here we are having the three phase supply section. So these are the three LEDs which will be indicating the input supply and this is the three pole MCB which will be used for switch on and off this main trainer. And these are the three 5 ampere fuse and these are the three phase terminals R, Y and B. So from here you will connect the patch codes and you can take the supply from here only. And this is the main power on off switch and this is the watt meter which ranges from 250 volt and this is another watt meter which is of having range 250 volt then this is the AC voltmeter which ranges from 0 to 500 volt and this is AC emitter and its range is 0 to 5 ampere then this is the three phase slip ring motor connection so this is the stator winding connection and this is the rotor winding connection and these are the rotor connections and this is the rotor resistance starter slip ring induction motor switch and this will be used for rotor resistance selector switch and here we are having the four poles. So this is the three phase AC slip ring motor of 415 volt and we will use this motor with the trainer while performing the experiment and this motor is having a pulley system so by using this pulley you can apply the load while performing the experiment. So these are the scales which are provided on the motor so by using the scale you can provide a particular level of load while performing the experiment and that is how you can apply a load while using this pulley system and on the front side here you are having the stator and rotor connections here you can see the stator and rotor connections so we have to do the connections here while performing the experiment so now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit so the experiment we are going to perform is to study no load test in a three phase slip ring induction motor so for that firstly we have to do the connections so firstly we will connect the R of the output three phase with V1 and we will connect the other end of the R with A1 and we will connect the Y terminal with V of the first watt meter and we will connect the other terminal of the Y with the stator Y terminal. Now we will connect the B terminal with M of the watt meter second and then we will connect the V of the watt meter second to the V2 of the AC voltmeter and now we will connect the A2 of the AC emitter with M of the watt meter first and then we will connect the L of the watt meter with R of the stator winding and then we will connect the B of the stator with L of the second watt meter and then we will connect the U of the rotor with U of the rotor winding and similarly we will connect the W with W and we will connect the V with the V of this rotor. Now we will connect the V of the first watt meter with the V of the second watt meter. And now we will do the connections for the motor. So now we will connect the stator winding with the stator of the motor and now we will connect
the red terminal with the red one and we will connect the blue terminal with the blue of the stator and similarly we will do the connection for the rotor winding so we will connect this r1 with u and we will connect the r So after the connection is done, now we will switch on the main supply of this trainer unit. So a 3 pin plug is also provided with this trainer. So we have to connect that 3 pin plug to the main AC supply of single phase so that these meters will get the supply and it gets on. So I have connected the 3 pin plug with the single phase AC supply and now I will switch on all the meters and there is another wire which is provided which we need to connect with the three phase supply. So we have to connect that with the three phase variac. Then we have to switch on this three pole MCB and now these three jewel LEDs will indicate when it, it will get the proper three phase supply that is line to line supply when this trainer unit get the line to line supply it will get on so we have to provide the supply from the three phase variac so now you have to increase the variac voltage so here you will notice the supply from the variac which we are providing to this trainer so right now i have provided 41 volt we have to provide 400 volt approx so that the line to line voltage will be there. So here you can see that the voltage is increasing and we have to provide 400 volt. And initially we have to keep this rotor resistance selector switch at first position like this. And now I am increasing the voltage and I will keep it at 400 volt approx. And now I will rotate this rotor resistance selector switch. So here you will notice that the motor starts when I have kept the rotor resistance switch at third position and while performing this experiment initially you have to keep all the both the pulley belts at no load position. So initially we don't provide any load here and this is the no load exper uh, experiment so we have to lose all the pulleys so that there is no load on the DC motor when you want to apply load you have to tighten these so you have to rotate this in clockwise direction and in, uh, in this experiment we don't provide any load so that's why we will keep it in no load position and here you will see the belt is free and now here you will notice the reading so this is the watt reading here negative sign shows the polarity so you can change the positions of the connection and then you will get the positive values on the watt meters and this is the AC voltage which we have provided to this trainer through a barrier so which is almost 400 volt and uh, this is the AC emitter reading and now we will keep the rotor switch at 4th position you will see the motor is running in more speed and then you will reduce the rotor resistance position so I have kept it at 3 you will notice that the motor is running with a low speed and when you will keep it at 2 the rot motor is running at very less speed as you will increase the rotor resistance you will notice that the speed of the motor increases and you will see the changes in the readings on the panel and 
you can also form an observation table which is given in the manual so this is the observation table which is given in the manual so you can fill all the values here this is the voltmeter reading so from here you will get the voltmeter reading this is the ammeter reading so these both you can fill by taking the readings from here and these are the wattmeter reading and this is the no load input power so you can calculate it by using this formula and this is the power factor so you can calculate the power factor by using this formula so all the readings you can get from here only and now when you will reduce it you will see the changes in the values of the ac ammeter so that is how you can perform this experiment and you can perform other experiments that i mentioned in the manual also the connection diagram is given in the manual you can perform the experiments accordingly and form the observation table so that is how this experiment is performed so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this trainer you can contact the tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel